crypto lender went from managing billions in assets to filing for bankruptcy in just a matter of months. Celsius made headlines last month after freezing its customer accounts. Then the company and its CEO essentially went radio silent with no answers to customers on when they would get their money back. The company broke that silence just last week when it filed for bankruptcy under Chapter 11. Now, for the first time, two former employees in leadership roles are speaking out on what they say led to the company's downfall. Here's CNBC's Kate Rooney. Timothy Cradle's career had been about making sure companies followed the rules. So he says he was alarmed by conversations at a Celsius corporate event in late 2019. There was a bit of an odd thing that came up at one of our Christmas parties. That, uh... Cradle, the former director of financial crimes compliance, says top executives were talking about deliberate price movements in the sell token. The cryptocurrency created and used by Celsius started to spike in early 2020. I don't know what better way to phrase it, but they were in the market. They were actively trading uh, and increasing the price of the token. Based on those conversations, you're saying that management was manipulating the price of the Celsius token. They were absolutely trading the token to manipulate the price. This echoes claims in a lawsuit alleging the company was actively using customer funds to manipulate crypto asset markets to their benefit. Market manipulation is one of the biggest issues in crypto, and it's one of multiple issues former employees are now speaking out about. Cradle and a former top human resources employee spoke to CNBC about what was a multi-billion dollar company headquartered in Hoboken, New Jersey. They say its downfall can be traced back to one theme. The biggest issue was a failure of risk management. Celsius says it brought in 1.7 million accounts by offering a 17% yield on deposits. Because we allow it. That's the crypto the company reason. and its charismatic yeah, CEO, Alex Mashinsky, you know, proudly <laughs> proclaimed banks are not your friends. If you think of a bank, their job is to uh, extract as much profit out of you as possible. They're we reached out directly to Mashinsky and the company for comment percent. and have not heard back. Seven. Celsius was one of a handful of crypto companies to halt withdrawals as crypto prices plummeted. The compliance team was too small. Our resources were too limited. Why do you think compliance was so understaffed? What was behind that? Basically, we were sucking out money and not bringing any back in. They didn't want to spend on compliance. CNBC obtained dozens of internal documents that in part show disorganization. In one instance, a top Celsius executive writes that he's surprised by a document written by another team overseas. Cradle, who left Celsius last summer, also said the company was trading customer funds. The CEO has denied this on Twitter. Did it seem risky? Yes. <laughs> He also says Celsius was putting them in controversial crypto projects without the compliance team's approval. According to this internal document, these investments were clearly labeled as medium or high risk. The state of Vermont echoed this in a recent consumer alert, saying the company deployed customer assets in a variety of risky and illiquid investments and didn't disclose that to customers. Risk-taking was also part of the hiring process, at least at first. I wasn't background check, which I thought everybody did that. Nikki Goodstein, a former senior member of the human resources team, says she wasn't aware of any background checks taking place when she joined in May of 2021. In fact, she says executives specifically told the chief human resources officer not to background check Yaron Shalem, the incoming chief financial officer. Months later, he was arrested and charged with money laundering in connection with his previous company. We made an attempt to find out the status of the case, but it does not appear to be public in the Israeli court system. Everyone was PO'd that he wasn't background checked because then it wouldn't have brought such embarrassment to the company if that was a process that we had in place. Goodstein says she's speaking out on behalf of customers who put their trust in Celsius. I feel really bad for people in the community who put money in there with confidence behind this and not only did they lose money because the market volatility but now they can't even get out what they put in to begin with. In the end, Cradle says Celsius may be just another example of a startup that grew too fast. It was just a bunch of mistakes that are ending up very tragically. Many former Celsius employees were paid part of their salary in the company's cryptocurrency, the Cell token, and stored their personal funds on the platform. They still haven't heard when or if they'll see their money again. But legal ex experts say there's no guarantee in one section of the terms and conditions. It says... Once someone deposits their funds, that cryptocurrency technically belongs to Celsius. Shep. Kate Rooney, live in.